He's just late. Just how far off did he wander anyway? Lord Plesiosaurus' territory extends across all the Great Lakes, even Niagara Falls. I'm sure he'll come right back as soon as he slept off the nutritious meal he's been having. I hope you're right. Oh, hey, there he is now. Uh, it's about time you got here. You really had me worried, you know. Gah. Oh, no. What, what happened to you, baby? You smell terrible. What in the world were you doing out there? You're all muddy and filthy. Is something wrong? Come here and let me have a good look at you. Wait, boss, something's not right. Not right? How so? You've been hanging out in some unsavory parts of the lakes, haven't you? Where were you? Gehenna? Detroit? Now go on, let me get a good look at you, just like always. Boss Anning! That's it. There's a good boy. Pet pet. Boss, your clothes are gonna stain. I believe Lord Plesiosaurus is covered in the Holy Grail's refuse. That is to say, stagnated magical energy which has become a cursed poison. It can't be good for you either. I know. I can tell this stuff is poison. So? My baby here must have eaten so much of it, even though it must have been so terribly bitter. And he did it all to get stronger. For me. Ain't that right, baby? Squeeze. Oh man. Oh man. My baby can't possibly lose this time. And when he wins, we'll finally be queen and emperor in both name and actual fact. We're going to carve our names right into that big old rock of history. Isn't that right, Plessio? Scrum! I've confirmed that the Takarabune is anchored in Lake Michigan, near Chicago. We finally caught up to it. Senpai? You seem a little tired. Did you not sleep well last night? I'm okay, thanks. Okay, if you're sure. If you do need rest though, please don't hesitate to let me know. Mm. What's the matter, girly? Scare someone? I can call the shots instead if you want. No freaking way. Just shut up, okay, Mike? I'm the leader here. Then own it. Chin up. You and me are going to one body and mind, so I don't want you tarnishing my good name. Gross. Could you please not say that kind of stuff? Especially right into my ear? Okay, everyone. It's finally time to settle this. Make sure you all stay sharp out there. Right. Oh, and Wokey? Could I talk to you in private for a moment? Sure. This should be a good spot, so what's up? Wokey, you are one of my employees, right? Where'd that come from? <laughs> I guess that was kind of a silly question. So I can I trust you then? I think you already know this, but I'm mainly here for the Holy Grail. Oh sure, I'm not worried about that. I'm only concerned about one thing. Getting started filming our last movie. The one you told me about, right? You remember how you promised you'd perform in it with me, right? Well, I can't say no to you. I'm glad you remember. So, are we going to start filming soon or something? Don't worry, you don't have to memorize any lines, all you have to do is be yourself. A lot will happen soon, but all you need to do is face it the same way you always do. 
I'm sure that's all we need to make this movie a masterpiece. So you're making a documentary? That's all I wanted to say. Come on, it's almost time to start rolling. Just tell me one thing. What was Anning's role? You don't need to know that. You know, Bunyan. You and Anning have at least one thing in common. We do? What's that? The way you try to live your lives on your own terms. Well, I am everyone's leader. I have a role to play and responsibilities to fulfill. But Lancer was always on her own. She had no choice but to toughen up because she never had anyone she could really count on. I'm nothing like her. Everyone loves me and I have lots of employees. Alright, let's table this discussion for later. Right now, it's time to make some movie magic. Lancer, I know you're there. As the leader of my delightful companions, I've come to accept your challenge. Today, we find out which one of us will make the better leader of this world once and for all. Now, show yourself. The weather just shifted dramatically. Wait, it looks like there's something in the lake. You just can't get it through your thick skull, can you? Fine, I'll explain it to you again. My name's Anning, Mary Anning. I'm a famous real life historical figure. I'm nothing like you. You come from tall tales, from folklore and silly gossip, stories about forests, rivers, trees, and country life. There's not a single shred of information about a real you. Isn't that right, Bunyi? Or should I say Paul Bunyan? You're made up. You have a name, sure, but you have no essence, no being of your own. That's why you shrunk to normal human size and devote all your energy to gaining popularity. No matter how many times you miss your old glory days, no matter how many golden statues of yourself you put up, you'll never be what you used to. Times have changed. Giants didn't die out. They just straight up disappeared. They never really existed in the first place. You're a fraud. A good-for-nothing hero. You could only ever survive in stories too absurd to believe. It's over, Paul Bunyan. Your age is dead and gone. But I'm still here, along with all my many employees. That's just a motley crew you scrap together with false charm and charisma. They'll leave you as soon as they get bored. Oh yeah? Who have you got on your side? Anyone? You bet, and I'll show you right now. Come on out. Giga Plesiosaurus Omega. Scraw. What? What? Mon the formidable Scraw. Magnific Marvelous. Huh? Uh, I mean, I'm just a little taken aback. You really put a lot of love into Plesiosaurus, didn't you, Lancer? My name is Anning, Mary Anning. I'm the woman who loved the Jurassic period more than anything, and the Jurassic loved me back. I brought my baby here back to life from the last period of history myself. Unlike you, he actually existed in this world. That makes him perfect for finally putting an end to your tall tale. Fine then, I accept your challenge. 
Stay out of this one, Wookie. I'm gonna handle this alone. Are you sure? I'm the leader here. Please just do what I say. If your baby is a creature revived from the distant past, then he's the perfect opponent to defeat in a new myth for a new world. Uh. <laughs> is that all you've got? This will be even easier than I thought. Senpai, Bunyan's in trouble. I know, but... Well, Bunyi, what do you think? I made him nice and strong, just like you wanted. <gasps> that map you had Assassin bring me was a real useful. Just look at how strong my Plessio is now. Map? I don't know anything about a map. Huh? You don't? Then Assassin just brought the thing without orders? Why? Does this mean Assassin has a huge crush on me or something? Now that you mention it, I haven't seen Assassin around lately. Oh, Assassins always hide during battle. Whoops, I'll have to edit this part out later. Ah, uh, well, it doesn't matter now. I'll have plenty of chances to figure that out later. For the time being. Go on, Plessio, finish her off. Scraw! Go on, Plessio, finish her off. Scraw! <gasps> now, Mash. Right. Didn't I tell you to stay out of this? Neither Master Odd nor I could honor such a request. Wokey, I'm the one who gives orders around here. I'm sorry, Bunyan, but... I can't just do nothing when one of my friends is in trouble. Even so, we have a goal we're trying to... You also said I should just be myself, right? So let me play the part the way I know I should. Wokey. Plessio! Ah, oh, damn it, damn it. Please, God, please don't let my baby die. That was great, Supervisor. We've got a masterpiece for sure. Oh no, I didn't mean to. It's fine. Even if it's not the story you planned, it all worked out in the end. What are you talking about? Well, uh... Come on, Boss Bunyan. You too, Big Boss. I'll show you the way. Welcome to the Takarabune. Welcome to our Takarabune, Big Boss. This is the Takarabune? It looks more like... A video rental store. It's an archive of movies from all around the world. I made it with my noble phantasm, Theatre de Plaisir. It might not be very big, but now that we have this theater back, we can summon all the actors we want. I didn't know you were using movies as summoning catalysts. Hop, 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 hop. Be careful with him. Now where's your medicine? You've got to have something around here, right? We have plenty of rice balls if that helps. It does not. Skrrr. Oh no, does it hurt, baby? There, there. You don't have to worry. I'll take good care of... of... 
Bunyi, I mean, Brother Bunyan, or sister, or whatever. You win, okay? I admit defeat. I'm sorry about everything, so please, please save Plessio. You want me to save him? But I don't know how I can. Come on, don't be like that. Besides, this is all because you wanted to make a movie, remember? So that's what this last movie was going to be about? It took a lot of reshoots to get it right, but this third battle made it a true masterpiece. The whole reason I changed the Mississippi River into the Jurassic period and raised Plessio in the first place was for the movie you wanted to make. But that's all over now. It's finished. You finally got the big heroic monster killer movie you wanted. So come on, just set Plessio free already. As you said, we don't need a big scary monster character anymore. Congratulations on a job well done. Whatever you do now is your business. So you're just gonna abandon him? Lancer. Mary Anning, my name is... My name is Mary Anning. Not that anybody ever paid any attention to it. But now I'm a servant. I've got a place on the throne of heroes and everything. How do you like them apples? But even after I was summoned, I was still just a big joke. Just a disposable stagehand for a B-movie in this piddling, minute singularity. I couldn't stand the idea of just toiling behind the scenes in the corner of a fading singularity. Stuck doing thankless grunt work until I disappeared once more without anyone knowing my name. So with my options being obscurity and a notoriety, I chose later if I could create a permanent Jurassic ecosystem on the Mississippi River. That'd leave an indelible mark on human history. Everyone would know my name, Mary Anning, Queen of the Jurassic Period. But I failed. Sorry, Plessio. Pet, pet. You poor thing. Just look at what's become of you. I want you to be strong. I want you to defeat the hero and carve our names into history once and for all. I even let you eat poison that turned you into a freak of nature. The map said plain as day that those areas were dangerous. I should have kept you away from them. But somewhere deep down, I wanted this to happen. And being a smart fellow, you knew that. I wanted you to be the emperor of the Jurassic period, and me its queen. <sighs> it was a stupid dream. One there's no coming back from. Listen, Plessio. You're all I've got. I don't need anyone else. So please, Bunyan. Please save my Plessio. He's my only... It was a failure. Huh? The movie. It was a failure. I wasn't supposed to win. Huh? What are you talking about? I already admitted my defeat. Get out of my way! What? Bunyan just knocked Anning over. And headed for the middle of the theater du placer. What is she trying to do? Ryder, I need you to summon someone right now. You got it, Supervisor. Who will it be? Me! 